Hey everyone, today I partnered up with Garnier to bring you this hair and makeup look. It is a mermaid costume tutorial. Are you guys ready for Halloween? I am so ready. If you're not ready, you could totally do this look. There's a lot going on here, but it's really, really fun to do. I mean, like, who does not want to be a mermaid? Obviously, I do. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all my new videos because I'm always uploading and I'd love to have you back. There's a whole lot going on here. So let's just get right into it. I'm starting out with freshly washed hair. I use the Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Shampoo and Conditioner to prep my hair for the look. Now before I do anything, I'm adding in a little Garnier Fructis style smooth air dry. I put this all over my wet hair and I let it air dry and it dries so much better than it does naturally. I have really damaged, color treated hair. It's been through a lot and this stuff helps so much because left to its own devices, it would just dry like a broom and it would look horrible and that is not mermaidly at all. Now I'm going in and I'm grabbing a section from the top of my head and I'm brushing out and twisting and I'm going to create a little tiny cute bun right on the top of my head. This is gonna be a heat free style and we are going for like some messy curly waves and I'm doing that by way of a bunch of little buns all over my head. You might be thinking I'm crazy right now and you're right, I am, but not about this. This is the perfect way to create mermaid waves, especially when you're gonna go all out with the mermaid makeup, which I am. You put your hair up like this while it's still wet, and so it dries while you're doing your makeup, and then boom, you take it down, it's all dry when you're done with your makeup, and you've got mermaid waves, and you can just get out there, get to swimming, get some candy, it's time to party, I don't know what you're gonna do, but you're gonna have fun, you're a mermaid, that's how this works. All right, that part was really, really easy, but now it's time to get to work. First, I'm grabbing my Urban Decay Fishnet Eyeshadow. It's a really pretty iridescent purpley pink, and I'm just putting that all over the lid and a little bit up into the crease. Obviously, I've already taken care of my foundation and concealer and powder and stuff like that. I didn't wanna bore you because this is basically just my everyday kind of foundation routine, and I'm just adding on top of it all of the mermaid jazz. It's jazzy, just get ready. I'm also bringing this color under my eye and blending it out. I just want a really purple intense smoked out look. I'm also using my finger to really pack that color on so it's super intense on my lid. Now I'm just going in with a clean fluffy brush to blend it out. I'm not using a whole bunch of different colors on my eyes just because there's gonna be a lot going on all over the face. Now I'm grabbing my NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powder in Lavender Steel and I'm adding that to my inner corners. I think this is supposed to be a highlight powder. Definitely not a highlight for my skin tone, but it is perfect for this look. Now we're moving on to eyeliner. I have my Urban Decay Liquid Liner in Ecstasy. It's a really pretty kind of metallic purple and I'm doing a pretty basic winged liner. Now I'm grabbing a Lancome Black Pencil Liner to tight line my eyes. I'm gonna be using some pretty intense false lashes and so this step is very important. All right, next for my mascara, I'm using my current favorite L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is some intense mascara. I use it every single day and it's amazing, but here I'm just using a little bit to prep for false lashes. Now it's time to get weird. I am using these thigh high fishnet stockings to put on my face. Yeah, we're going there. Obviously, this is a bit of a struggle, especially with the knots all over my head, but once you get it on there, it's totally worth it and absolutely comfortable. Not really, but it's not that bad actually. And it's very helpful because you obviously are getting a little bit of a grid pattern on your face and a great laugh as well at the same time. Why not laugh at yourself? <laughs> I'm kind of arranging the uh, pattern on my face because I wanted it to be kind of symmetrical right down the middle. So first up for my scales, I'm grabbing that NYX highlight again with a dense small brush and I'm just packing it on over the fishnets. This is gonna leave the pattern of the fishnets on my face and it'll look like scales, kind of. It'll be cool. 
just wait. Next up, I'm grabbing Fishnet again, the same color that I used on my eyes, and I'm going around that triangle that I created with the highlight, and I'm just packing it on, and I'm kind of blending it. It's not like perfect squares. I'm not doing stripes. I want it to be kind of like a, almost like a watercolor effect. I'm also going down my hairline and blending it out. And then I'm also bringing it down softly into my cheek contour area. Next, I'm grabbing another Urban Decay eyeshadow and it's called Hate, and it's kind of a bluey green, beautiful color. Again, I want it to have a really blended out watercolor kind of effect, so I'm just using a little bit and brushing it on in a symmetrical pattern on both sides. And now I'm going back to that NYX highlight again, and I am just packing it on. Go into town with this highlight on my cheekbone area. I love this color. I also love putting different colors all over my face. I love regular everyday makeup, but like, can we do this more often? It's just a question. I'm also adding it to my chin and down the bridge of my nose. Finally, it is time to set my face free. It has been caged for too long, but it was absolutely worth it. Or at least it was worth the price of these fishnets because I'm never really gonna be able to use those again. Not that I ever did, whatever. Do you see my scales? They're cute, right? Okay, now I'm going back in with more fishnet and I'm kind of just messing up my scales in my contour area because I wanted that to be more intense. I'm also bringing it on my jawline to contour there and then blending it out and down my neck. I'm not really sure if mermaids have purple necks, but this one does. Now I'm grabbing my After Dark palette and as you can see, this was just like, hey, mermaid makeup, Leanne, grab every single purple eyeshadow ever. Put it on your face. It was fun. I'm using this kind of like ready purple shade from the After Dark palette to intensify the contour and also contour my nose. I felt like that was necessary. And I'm also adding a little bit around my nose just to add more of the purple effect to my face without actually like painting my whole face purple. Like I, I'm coming close, but not all the way. And then obviously I pretty much just went to town with it. I intensified the scale shapes on my cheekbones and around my hairline, and then I just wanted more. So I grabbed the bigger brush and I'm adding it to my jawline and down my neck as well. Next, I'm grabbing fishnet again, and I'm just adding more under my eyes and then also connecting my shadow back with the other colors that are closer to my hairline. Now I'm grabbing this bright white metallic eyeshadow by NYX. It's called Frostbite and I'm adding it to my brow bone to highlight under my brow. And I'm also adding a little bit to my inner corner just to highlight even more and a bit down my nose as well. Now I'm blending that nose contour a little bit and I'm using this NYX faux white pencil in seashell which is just a really light bright pink on my lower waterline to brighten my eyes and open them up. Now I'm gonna throw on some extra dramatic lashes because, I don't know, that's totally practical for ocean life, right? No. Well, Prince Eric could be around any corner. You don't know. Ooh la la, I wanna be where the people are. I love these lashes. Wait, no, I need to do my brows first. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Vega. It's a liquid glitter eyeshadow that comes with a little brush and I'm just painting it on my brows. I'm not doing anything crazy. This doesn't even fully change my brows into blue, but I like the kind of subtle hint that it gives. It darkens them and gives them a little bit more shape, but it's nothing crazy dramatic. You could totally use like an actual like glitter pigment or an eyeshadow to have a more dramatic look, but I love how this turned out. Wow, okay, so I'm dipping back into Urban Decay's fishnet for the last time, I promise, and I'm building it up on my brow bone slash nose area. I just needed a little time to get in the mermaid mood. Now I'm going strong and I'm adding some face 
diamonds. I don't even know what you call these. I got these from the craft store and they're self stick. And so I'm just sticking them on my face, bedazzling my brow bone. I'm just kind of winging it. And I ended up doing like a three and three symmetrical kind of situation. And just to step up my scale game just a little bit more, I have these iridescent glitters from also the craft store. Very professional. You can definitely get better glitter for your face. Be aware of that. I'm just sticking them on with clear lash glue and pressing them on to my cheekbone to kind of highlight slash look like scales. I just love these giant pieces of glitter. Are they sequins or are they glitter? I don't know. I just like how they look in the light and I'm kind of going up from my cheekbone to my temple, almost to meet up with those little face diamonds. <laughs> now I'm just moving on to the other side and doing the exact same thing. I get kind of hung up on symmetry. You don't have to do it like that. You can add more, you can add less. Just do it the way you wanna do it. This is definitely my favorite step by far. I feel like it made the most difference and it looks the coolest in the light when I move my face. I kinda of want this like all the time. Is that okay with you guys? Please say yes. I had to use like way more strength than I actually have within me to not cover my entire face in these things, but I'm just using two more, one under each eye, and I think this is another step I'd like to do every single day. Is that cool? Okay, I'm doing it. Now onto the lips. I'm using Urban Decay's Pandemonium Matte Lipstick. It's just a really, really pretty purple matte color and because i do things backwards in my life i am using a lancome purple eyeliner on my lips to kind of like give that color a border it just needed it and now to highlight my lips i'm using the l'oreal infallible paints metallic shadow in violet luster this is a really really creamy shadow and it was really easy to blend on my matte lipstick and that's it for the makeup look. I still definitely need to do my hair and that is coming, but I just had to like kind of work it with this makeup because I was loving it so much. You have no idea. And actually I kind of like this hair also. Can I say that? I'm saying that. All right, enough of that. It's time to do this hair and it's actually extremely easy from here on out. I'm just kind of touching my buns and making sure they're all feeling dry and very gently loosening them up and can you see this? It's like a little piggy tail. It's so springy and I was honestly a little bit shocked by how well this worked. Now that I have all the pins out and the buns loosened up, I'm just gonna very gently go through with my fingers and kind of rake them through. And as I do that, I'm gonna go through with the Garnier Fructis Full Control Hairspray. You really don't even have to use very much and this hairspray does its job and you will be keeping these waves all night long and well into the next day and maybe even the next day after that. I'm speaking from experience, you already know. Okay, you totally don't have to do this step, but because I want that kind of like side swept, wind blown Lady Godiva kind of look, I'm using literally one bobby pen and I'm pinning up one side so it all lays over one shoulder. I don't know why this says mermaid to me, but it totally does. Now I'm grabbing my teasing brush and super, super gently, I'm going through and adding just a tiny bit more volume. And now to set everything in place, I'm using the Garnier Fructis Flexible Control Hairspray and I'm just spraying it all over my waves and I just, I just wanna keep everything in place, especially these bangs. I've got a long grown out bang situation. It's like a miracle that they're staying like this. Now to really, really finish off the look, I'm adding on my under the sea prom queen headpiece. I am obsessed with this. I feel like it kind of turns me into an 80s bride. But y'all already know I'm down for that and I'm obsessed with this. 
All right, that's everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate the look, the hair, the makeup, the mermaid, I wanna see it. So post a photo on social media. You can tag me, it's at Leanne Says absolutely everywhere. You could also do just like hashtag Leanne Says. I just wanna see what you guys do. I hope you have an awesome Halloween. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.